Sadly, I mean, Jesus said, think not I come to bring peace, sir, but I come to bring a sword, amen. Jesus is the way to finding peace. David, um, in Psalm 140, he said, Lord, deliver me from the violent men, praise God. Amen, for I am for peace, but they are for war. Amen, and amen. But there's not enough prayer going up. We find ourselves in so much trouble but we forget that we've missed out and neglected so much prayer. David, Psalm 141 said, Lord, I cry unto thee. Amen. Amen. Then Psalm 142, that I cry unto thee. Praise be to God. And, and then David um, um, gives incessant thanks to God. Amen. So for us to be in talk to the Remembrance Day, for us to be in a time of peace, we've got to give God thanks yeah. and continually pray unto him. Amen. And continually cry unto him. It's not Remembrance Day today. Remembrance Day is an attitude and prayer to God every single day. Amen. You can't just go to God in one day. Amen. And think we can escape the sadness of war. No, not at all. And so I thank God. What Psalm 122. I was glad when they said unto me, let us Remembrance Day. No. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go unto the house of the Lord. Praise be to God. Amen. So I, I really thank God that God has woken me up and spared my life. That I can walk to the house of God with my wife again today. Yes. And my children. Amen. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. And inside of that, we can pray for the peace of Israel. What, what I wanted to just share with you today, praise God, is, is in the Old Testament, um, they didn't really talk about hell. Hell something that Jesus just talked about. This is why the Jewish people um, don't really agree with our New Testament because there's too much hell. And in the Old Testament, there's, there's hardly any of it. Praise be to God. Not until Solomon. And um, the reason why is because the hell for the children of Israel was supposed to be their children falling into terrible things. That was hell for them. In the book of Job, he was up. The beginning of Job, he was up every morning, sacrificing for his children just in case they would sin against God. His hell was their children, things going wrong for their children. Praise be to God. Amen. We as a people, amen, don't need to be reminded of hell to repent. It's our children. And what God, amen, would do, the children would get smited, and that should have caused repentance not the remainder of hell so i really thank god inside of um, my life that what caused repentance for me amen is when i would see my children suffer and what a sad state in the world today is that when we see the palestinian children die when we see the israeli children die it's not caused the whole nation to repent that should be our hell. Our hell is when we see our children sick, when we see our children suffering. That's the things that should turn our hearts to God. Not Remembrance Day. <laughs> Praise be to God. I'd just like to give God thanks for, I'll give you an example. When I, um, years and years ago, came out of prison, God used to really encourage me to fast and pray more. I wasn't doing it enough. I'd maybe read my Bible 10 minutes a day and pray maybe five minutes a day. And I found it very difficult, so God would encourage me, but I, I wouldn't listen. And so things started to go wrong for my children. Aaron, I remember he got mugged three times in one week. Huh? And, and I refused to fast because God was encouraging me. No, no, no. I, I like to eat my biscuits and stuff, yes? And, um, and there was things that um, began to happen to, to my children, praise to God. And I slowly started to fast. And when I begin to call upon God, remember God, and begin to pray, I noticed that my children became more protected. Praise be to God. And that's what taught me because my hell was seeing my children in pain. And God said to, you, to me, the last verse in the Hebrew Bible said this. 
Elijah shall come in the last days and he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, not to the children, to their fathers. And I remember, I, I could hear God's voice very clearly. And God said to me, just finishing now, he said to me, um, Mark, my son, he's going to become epileptic. Head it loud and clearly. And not to tell then, I didn't tell then. But he said, what you must do is fast these particular days every week for two years. But you mustn't tell anybody at all that you're going to fast. So, because maybe people wouldn't believe me. You know, you tell people, you hear the voice, people don't believe, okay? And um, and so, two years finished, and I, I can remember going home. I finished work, and I, I was going home, and I heard the voice of God saying, it is finished. Mark is safe. Wow, I was so happy. Now go home and tell Lynn. And so I was on my way to tell Lynn, climbed up the stairs to my landing, and as I was approaching my house, this African boy would have been about 12. He was walking towards me. He's looking at me. So I, I thought he'd look at me. As his eyes met my eyes outside my door, guess what happened to him? <laughs> he went into a fit really bad and, and collapsed at my feet. And so I turned him over and looked after him until he went and God said, you see, just in case people don't believe, Praise God. These signs shall follow those that believe. But your child has escaped the hell of epilepsy because you seek and you obey my voice. Praise be to God. Amen. And inside of that, amen, Mark was delivered. Praise God. And the encouragement for all of us, amen, is to, is to seek God more inside of fasting and prayer. The book of Job said, call my people, amen, to a solemn assembly. What's a solemn? This is a serious place. Our children's lives, our children's happiness is serious. To a solemn assembly, amen, to fasting and to prayer. And that my people shall save my people from reproach. What a reproach that would have been to me, having marked suffering for epilepsy like these poor children and parents to have to go for that. And God delivered me because I heard his voice. And that's my prayer that people would remember today. That would be the remembrance that they would daily seek the voice of God. Don't pray and fast when war comes upon you. Daily. But I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And God's promise is this, that your hell, which is your children's lives, they will be delivered if we seek God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Yeah.